As we're almost done with the first semester of this school year, winter break has started to give us some time off to spend with loved ones, family, and friends. Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day take place quickly in a row, not to mention all the social obligations we're going to have. The holiday break is over before you know it. After the winter break, it's back to days filled with work or studying. Lots of us, including myself, have exams straight after the winter break. And during the winter break, we are expected to keep up with our plans, our goals and our studying. But in reality, it's very hard to keep up and there's a big chance of falling behind even more. Then afterwards, it's back to studying, studying, studying for the exams at the end of January and the beginning of February. It's easy to lose motivation and it's hard to stay on top of your to-do list. That is why I'm sharing some concrete advices that you can use to stay on top of your to-do list during this winter dip. It's hard to stay motivated when there are so many distractions going on in January. For me, I just want to curl up in a ball with a big warm blanket, watch Netflix and eat snacks all day, but unfortunately we have work to do. It takes a lot of dedication to walk up to your desk every day and get grinding. So you're going to need to be dedicated. But some motivation helps a lot as well. That is why I want to give you a list of things that could help you to get motivated during this time. These things could motivate you to get working or studying daily. Grab a piece of paper and write down everything you need to do and catch up on. For example, maybe you still have a lot of lectures you still need to watch. Once I have finished my list, I know exactly what I need to do and what I expect of myself. And this motivates me a lot to get to work. Think about rewards of getting your tasks done. It always helps to reward yourself after having done everything. And the biggest reward for me is just the satisfaction of having the work done. Plan something later that day so you have to do the work or the studying. There is nothing more motivating than a little time pressure. If I know I only have three hours to study because I have to be somewhere else in a few hours, I will study so much harder than if I would have the whole day. Watch motivating videos or series about hardworking people. This also motivates me to get my life together and to get working. On the one hand, we have social obligations that are so much fun and on the other hand, we have exams that are approaching fast. Both of them can cause stress and be a huge distraction to you if you keep thinking about them while you're doing something else. That is why I recommend to take things one day at a time. There's simply no point of thinking about things that are going to happen in a week's time, so there's no need to think about them. I also try to focus on one task at the same time. Sometimes I feel like an octopus because I'm juggling so many things at the same time. Like I want to study, but at the same time I want to do a chore, I want to work on a video and I also want to do fun things. But there is no way I can do all of them at the same time. And that is why I focus on one task at the same time. So I can be totally dedicated to doing that thing and I don't waste my time thinking about something else. Make the most of the internet with NordVPN. As you're using your phone and laptop to be more productive, NordVPN will make sure that your data is protected. You can connect your VPN server to 60 countries. Find a server near you for better speed or in a faraway location for more content. NordVPN keeps your data encrypted and changes your IP address. This will significantly boost your online privacy and security. NordVPN gives you the possibility of accessing content anywhere. For example, you can spend your time effectively and watch or read educational content that is not available in your region. You can use NordVPN on up to six devices and there is a 30 days money back guarantee in case it is not what you were looking for. They currently have a holiday season deal. Go to nordvpn.com slash way to study to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. The best thing is that it just takes one click to have online security and privacy. Open the map, 
click on a location and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. You can go to nordvpn.com slash ways to study in my description box so you can start surfing the internet safely today. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Make the best out of the hours you have with natural daylight. Where I'm from, it's getting dark very early in the day and personally, I don't really enjoy studying in the dark. I prefer to study with natural daylight and that is why I can recommend to make the best out of the hours that you have with natural daylight. If you prefer natural daylight, just like me, then it's better to plan your more serious and harder study sessions or work sessions during the day when it's still light outside and do the more fun stuff in the evening when it's already dark outside. The same also goes for people who prefer to study in the dark, but then the other way around, of course. Balance is key when you're having long, long days full of studying and working. That is why I recommend to also plan in some fun things, like things that will keep your mind off of studying and things that will make you feel relaxed. And I especially recommend to do something fun in the evenings as well, so you don't take the whole day of studying with you to bed. Keep up with your usual routines. Even if you have a super busy day, try to keep doing your morning routine, your evening routine and all your other routines. They will give you a peace of mind because you're already super used to all the habits that you're doing during those routines and they will encourage you to stay productive. After I'm done with my morning routine, for example, I've already done so many things in a short amount of time that it encourages me to stay motivated and to stay productive after that. Give yourself time to rest. I know that January is the month for new habits and new year's resolutions, but don't forget that you're human too. You need rest, you need sleep, and you need balance. If you feel like you're doing too much, adjust your schedule and take things slower. There's just no need to burn yourself out. And also be strict about your limits. If you feel like things are getting too hard and you're doing too much, Learn how to say no and take time for yourself. Schedule work or study days. The first thing you need to do is write down all dates of any obligations you might have. Maybe you're planning on visiting your parents on New Year's Day. Or maybe you promised to run an errand for a friend on Thursday. It's easy to overbook things. Especially now that we're in a holiday season, it's not unlikable that you have planned a whole study day on a day where you are going to meet a friend for a walk outside. Schedule your plans for studying or working around these obligations so you'll know exactly when you're free to get stuff done. Then, schedule in a couple of days where your main focus is going to be working or studying. I have noticed that whenever I am working or studying for a longer amount of time, I work more efficiently and I get more done. Sometimes you just need a day full of dedication so you can take big steps. So now we have days where we're completely distracted by something, like New Year's Day. And we have days where we're totally dedicated to our work or studies. But there are going to be a lot of days in between where you're going to have an obligation but it doesn't last all day long like New Year's Eve. On those days, you need to schedule in a couple of dedicated focus hours. For example, you can set a goal of studying for 4 hours per day. Also make sure to schedule in a couple of personal days where you take the whole day off and just relax. Lastly, make sure the stuff on your to-do list is manageable. Be specific about what you're writing down. Read chapter 6, for example, is a lot more specific than simply writing down that you're going to study for 2 hours. Make sure you get plenty of sleep. During winter, we're not getting a lot of sun during the day and it's also very cold outside. Allow your body to recover after months of going to school or uni or work. Aim for eight to nine hours of sleep per night and also set an alarm for the next day. It's okay to lay in bed a little bit longer than you're used to, but don't sleep in for too long because you want to get up early enough to still do your whole morning routine and to get ready for the day. One way to stay motivated and dedicated during the winter break is to study with friends. 
Make sure you follow your country's measures and that you're meeting each other in a safe way if you decide to do it. And if it's not possible, you could also try to organize an online study session with one or more friends. There are even a lot of apps and websites where you can join online study sessions and study together. This will keep you motivated and it's nice that someone keeps you accountable for studying. Those were my nine advices to stay on top of your to-do list during the winter break. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about productivity and lifestyle. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.